Hi there, everyone. I'm Christoph Chu from Christoph Chu Real Estate Group at Coal Banker Beverly Hills. Tonight is the night. For those of you that follow me, for the last 16, 17 years, I've been involved with Covenant House California, helping get homeless youth off the streets. And for eight years in a row, we've always slept out outside on the streets in Hollywood to raise money and awareness to support homeless youth. This year, unfortunately, and I'm really upset, I know you think I'm crazy, but I really am upset that I can't physically sleep on the streets of Hollywood. I try to get a permit to sleep on the streets of Beverly Hills and the alleys. No one will allow us, and with the uh, coronavirus situation right now, it's a little bit unsecure. So this year, we're sleeping out uh, virtually in our homes. However, I wanted to share my insights about Covenant House and why I'm doing this. It's true that you know the homeless youth are on the streets every day, and every night in LA, there's over 6,000 homeless youth on the streets. And I don't know if you know this, but when the coronavirus started back in March, and we're now nine, 10 months into that, um, there was so much unemployment. And I read all the employment, unemployment figures all the time. 62% of all of the unemployment people that filed jobless claims were under 26 years old. And I know for a fact that these young kids that we take off the streets in Hollywood or downtown or anywhere in the county of LA, we take them into the shelter, we get them off the streets, we give them a safe place to live, we make sure they don't take drugs, they don't smoke, they don't drink, they go through job training, they go through medical care, we take care of them. But a lot of these kids, they've now left Covenant House to get jobs, but now their jobs are gone. I mean, they lost their jobs at Starbucks, they lost their job as a waiter at a restaurant. And now with the new restrictions, it's even worse. And I'm, I'm so upset uh, for many reasons. Number one, I can't sleep out. I know you think I'm crazy, but I do like to sleep on the street once a year, in a box, in the rain, in the shine, whatever. But to me, if I'm sleeping in a box, showing what I'm willing to do to raise money for homeless youth, I can raise more money. This year, I can't sleep on the street or on the sidewalk because of the restrictions. So I'm kind of upset about that but there's more homeless youth than ever that need our support. I mean, there's so many, and there's so many more now than ever. Even when I drive through LA, and I see the homeless veterans, and the homeless older people, I mean, it's just, it's just it makes me so sad. And I have the privilege and the honor, and every day of my affirmations, I am so grateful to God in life that I have a home, I have a roof over my head, I have a warm bed to sleep in, I have hot and cold water, I have fresh food to eat, I have wonderful clients, a beautiful office, people who work with me and help with me, but I have a home. So many of these youth do not have homes, and I've spent many, many hours with these youth on the streets talking to them. They sleep in packs. They go together in packs of 5, 10, 15, because when you're on your own on the streets, you have no protection. But if you're with 6 or 7 or 10 guys and girls homeless together, at least you have protection. So whatever you can do to support us, I know you won't see me like in a box tonight on the street. I will seep out from my home, either on the terrace or on the living room floor to be in solidarity with the homeless youth. But please, whatever you can do, whether it's $5, a dollar, $20, or thousands of dollars, and thank you to so many of my friends that donated 2,000, 1,000, 500 dollars, 100 dollars. I'm so grateful. I don't get the money. And Covenant House, 100% of the money will go directly to support homeless youth. Basically, we get them off the streets, emergency shelter, housing, medical care, job training, clothes, safe apartments, safe housing. So the goal is within three to five years, they're productive members of society, they've saved five to $10,000, they have a job, and they can be back in as productive people in our world. If we don't help our youth, we got no future. And look, I was not from a rich family, but I did have support in certain levels. So I want to support the homeless youth now, youth now because they have nothing. And they're transgender, they're um, homosexual, they're all different kinds. But they, they get kicked out of the, and they're physically abused, sexually abused. And a lot of these youth are actually taken by the sex traffickers. Six years ago, they talked about sex trafficking. I never even heard that term. I didn't even know what that meant. But these kids come to Hollywood on the Greyhound bus, and at the Hollywood bus stop for Greyhound, they have these drug dealers and sex traffickers that, oh, by the way, you got somewhere to stay? Oh, come on with us, we'll take care of you. And they sex traffic these kids. It's disgusting. It's ridiculous.
Again, I'm so lucky to have a home and a wonderful life. And I cannot sleep tonight in the streets because we can't, but I have the choice. These youth and these kids on the streets that were abused sexually and physically, and who knows what went on in their lives. And I do know the stories and I won't share that right now, but they don't have the option. I have the option. Most of you that are watching me and follow me, you all have the option. So anything you can do to help us get these kids off the street, because now it's worse than ever, um, I appreciate it. I thank you and bless you for helping. So please help support Covenant House California, and let's make our future brighter and better for everyone in the world. Thank you so much, and God bless you.